Let's solve two problems involving a crane with a cable attached to its boom. We'll use 3D geometry and trigonometry to find unknown measurements. For the first problem, let's visualize our crane in three-dimensional space. We have our X, Y, and Z axes. The cable starts at point A on the boom and extends to point B. We're given that the cable is 80 feet long, the X coordinate is 60 feet, and that Z equals 3Y. To solve this, we'll use the distance formula in three dimensions. The length of the cable equals the square root of x squared plus y squared plus c squared. We can substitute our known values. 80 equals the square root of 60 squared plus y squared plus 3y squared. Simplifying inside the square root, we get 80 equals the square root of 3,600 plus 10 y squared. Now let's solve for y. Square both sides to get rid of the square root. After subtracting 3,600 from both sides and dividing by 10, we get y squared equals 280. Therefore, y equals two times the square root of 70 feet. And since c equals three y, z equals six times the square root of 70 feet. For the second problem, we're given specific coordinates for point b x equals 80 feet, y equals 40 feet, and z equals 40 feet. We need to find the cable length and the angle between the cable and the positive z axis. Let's find the cable length first using the distance formula. The length equals the square root of 80 squared plus 40 squared plus 40 squared. This simplifies to 40 times the square root of 6 feet. For the angle with the z-axis, we can use the direction cosine formula. Cosine theta equals z over l. Plugging in our values, we get cosine theta equals 40 over 40 times the square root of 6, which simplifies to 1 over the square root of 6. Therefore, the cable length is 40 times the square root of 6 feet, and the angle between the cable and the positive z-axis is the inverse cosine of 1 over the square root of 6.